Hello, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing. So this unboxing is from Everyday E-Crafts. Um, they did contact me and asked if I wanted to do um, a review on their products and I'm like, sure, I'll do a review. So, hey, let's do this one first since it's in plastic, clear plastic, so. So yeah, um, so I did get these for a review, so thank you to Everyday E-Crafts for allowing me to do this review. So, this first diamond painting looks like it's a fancier toolkit. It's, uh, you know, one of the boats with the spout. Um, looks like maybe maybe five or six um, baggies and, and two pens with... Ooh, my favorite kind of placers. I think this is a four placer. This is a 10 placer. I don't tend to use the 10 placer, but the four placer, all welcome. So, so yeah, and these are square drills. So, um, I find that I actually don't have that many square drill um, diamond paintings left. So I was like, I need to try to do some square drills. So this is the image right here. It's, it's a Starry Night Hogwarts castle. Um, I actually did this a symbol the same image last year as a 25 by 35 and I I kind of wanted to try out to do it a little bit bigger so this is a 40 by 50 um, so I'm just trying to flatten out the canvas um, as well as I can so yeah this is a supposed to be a 40 by 50 let's measure it it is um about almost 45 it's really close to 45 by 35 so so it is a little bit smaller than 40 by 50 but hey look at this there's dmc numbers yay um okay i'm get too excited about dmc numbers so it does look like it's um just letters and numbers so i like that kind of legend that's my favorite kind of legend. So let's look at the print. Um, will it focus? So yeah, the print I think looks, I think it looks pretty clear. Um, so I'm happy with that. Yeah, it looks, it looks, it looks decent. I think it looks decent. So it is a little dark. I'm hoping that when it actually gets drilled, it'll be clearer. So the image is supposed to be, um, supposed to be this image here. I have it printed out already. So it's supposed to be this image here. Um, it, it's looking a tiny bit pixelated, but I'm going to be hopeful that when the drills are put on there, it'll be much better. I've noticed it whenever you like get a square diamond painting i think it's really hard to tell if it'll actually turn out um so i'm gonna be up hopeful that this will turn out um and i actually did this last year as a 25 by 35 in round so i'm actually um i actually kind of want to do this to compare it to the one i did last year um it was actually one of my very first diamond paintings like so yeah i think I'm hoping it'll turn out. Here's the first image. Um, and I did say they were squares, right? So yeah, though that's the first image. So the second image is, see, this one's more hidden. Let's see. So this should also be a 40 by 50. Um, so let me. So it looks like it's the basic toolkit, pen, boat, and wax. Um, these are going to be round diamonds. So, so yeah, here's the image. It's <laughs> okay. It's really, 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 really folded. But let me see if I can get it better. But yeah, oh, this one actually looks like it's going to turn out really well. Um, just. I'm hoping. See, everything I'm like, oh, okay, this is gonna turn out. Like, the rounds, like, I think they just get printed, like, on the canvas really well. So all, like, rounds tend to look like they're gonna turn out, but you won't really know until you actually drill it. Um, so, 
So yeah, this one, I don't know, I'm, I, I'm, I'm gonna go put it under all my other diamond paintings, but um, if I have to iron it when I actually get to it, then I'll iron it. But yeah, here is the second image. It's this leopard. Is it a leopard? <laughs> um, and behind a couple flowers. Yeah, or is it cheetah? Cheetah, leopard. Um, I don't know my big cats, <laughs> but I thought this looked really, re really pretty. And um, I actually had done a diamond painting with a raccoon in succulents, and I thought that one was really, really fun to do. So I thought this would be really, really fun to do also. So this one, um, this one cost, let me see. This one was ten ninety. It's ten ninety nine on their site. Oh, and I don't know if I said it, but the Hogwarts painting was thirteen ninety nine. Thirteen ninety nine. Why can't I speak? So yeah. So this one also has DMCs. I am really loving it when these diamond paintings come with the DMCs. That's sometimes the problem with these um, budget friendly stores is you don't know if you're gonna get D the DMCs or not, but. Um, there's 24 colors in this. They look like they're all letters, so I like that. Um, and let's see. This The symbols look really, really good on this one. And this one is printed in that way where um, the, the symbols are in circles, but the actual like background is not just like a grid. So I think those turn out really, really well. So I'm, I'm going to be... Like, this one looks really good. I kind of want to do this one, too. <laughs> yeah, see, that's the thing. You choose diamond paintings, you get, like, and then you want to do them right away, and you just don't have the time. So, but yeah, I think I'm going to do the Hogwarts ones first, because I do want to just do a square. Um, and plus, I did do a 30 by 40 uh, version of it back then, and I just kind of wanted to see how much of a difference it makes. So yeah, here's the second one. Um, so my last item is actually not a diamond painting, um, <laughs> it's actually a paper quilling. All the paper got, I, I don't know if this is where we're actually gonna put it on, but it, the paper did get, um, folded. So yeah, this is paper quilling. Like, I've never done paper quilling. Actually, during the pandemic, before I found and discovered, well, before a friend of mine pretty much was like, Joan, you should try diamond painting. It's really helped me. Um, I actually contemplated doing a paper quilling um, project. So yeah, I think this is the, the paper that we're supposed to do it on. So I'm kind of sad that it's all crumpled. I wonder if I, I might just photocopy this um, and put it on a piece of paper on cardstock so that it's not this crumpled um, this, but but yeah, it's this. It's supposed to be this peacock, and and I've never paper quilled before. But I did watch a bunch of before I found diamond painting. I did watch a bunch of YouTube videos, and I contemplated paper quilling being my my like quarantine hobby before diamond painting took over. So yeah, I was like, I and the reason I didn't do the paper quilling is I didn't realize there were these kits that already had like kind of instructions. So, yeah, I think I am kind of sad that the paper came all crumpled if, if, if this is where you're actually supposed to glue it on. Wait, does it come with glue? Like, I, I don't know what I'm doing in this. So I know you're supposed to swirl the paper around this and then like let it like take the shape of this. I would have thought there would be glue in this. So is there glue? Am I like missing glue? Um, I mean, I have plenty of glue, so I'm not too worried, but yeah, if anyone who's watching this has done paper quilling, what did you think? Um, <laughs> you're like, Joe, what are you getting yourself into? Like, doing another craft? Um, but I saw this on Everyday E-Crafts, and um, since I, I never ended up getting that, trying out the paper quilling, um, I was like, you know... And I like the fact that this all comes with everything you possibly need. Okay, so this is this is a needle. I thought, for some reason, I thought that there was a... I have to go watch the YouTube videos again of how to paper quill. Um, and we'll see. We'll see if this is <laughs> something I enjoy. But I thought there would be glue with this, but... 
but maybe I'm wrong. But it does look like other than the glue, um, which I have glue, so I'm not too worried. It comes with. So yeah, here's the here's the like little tool doohickey that has like a hole to put um, the paper through, and then you're supposed to turn it. This is this is me watching the YouTube videos like a year ago, and I'm not sure what this does. What does the what does the pointy thing does do? Like the instructions are in Chinese. I don't know. I don't know my. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, see, what does this do? Well, <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what happens if I ever do this. But if I do finish this, I will put it in. I'll put a review. I mean, I'll put it in with a diamond painting because if you're not into paper quilling, you're not, you're going to be like, why in the world is she showing this? Um, <laughs> but I'm going to try. It's going to be a learning thing. But I just thought this would be fun to try. And... Um, I chose this image just because it looked the easiest. Um, now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, is this really the easiest? Will this be really that easy? Um, but yeah, I think if, if I do, if I, when I do this, I'm going to have to just photocopy this and put it on, on, on like cardstock or something. Cause yeah, the, this didn't turn out well. Or I wonder, can, no, I don't think you could just iron this. It won't work. But yeah, I will. I will have to just photocopy this. Um, yeah, so that I can have the pattern because I don't think I'd be able to do this without this pattern because I am just not that kind of skilled. But man, this looks a lot harder than I thought it would be. <laughs> All right, so there's my three things. I have my peacock paper quilling because uh, I figure why not. Um, I have this leopard here, leopard or cheetah or some sort of big cat. Um, and then my Hogwarts, um, Hogwarts like Starry Night, which is the one I'm probably gonna do first. And I'm hoping it turns out, but all right. Look out for the Kidding Up video at some point. And um, thank you for watching and happy diamond painting. Bye.